Yo, what's cracking everybody? It's Steve here. Welcome back to Steve's World TV. I have a real treat for you today. I've got probably the best any card at any number, the holy grail of all card magic, and I'll show you why. So you're going to ask your spectator to name a suit. And let's say they go for something random, and this is completely random, they go for a diamond. Um, so they tell you, all right, uh, diamond. And then you say, in a pack of cards, there's ace all the way through to king. I just want you to think of any one of those cards. And just remember the picture cards have values as well. So let's say they think of, um, and they don't tell you this, um, they think of a number four. Okay, so in their mind, they're thinking four. And then you say, you know what, let's just make that value completely random. Whatever that you're thinking of, I just want you to double that number. Okay, so they take the four and they double it. And obviously that comes to eight, but none of this is said out loud. It's all in their mind. And then they're thinking of a new number and you tell them, all right, you know what, just to make things a little bit more random, how about you take that new number and double that one as well? All right, so now they're obviously thinking of 16. And you say to them, all right, so you're thinking of a number um, and you're thinking of a card right from the beginning. And then you say, what's the new number that you are now thinking of? And they'll say, all right, 16. You take the cards and you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and you ask them what their card was in the beginning, and they'll say the four of diamonds. And that is instantly reset just like that, and they can choose any suit. It's crazy. So let's see how that's done. All right, cool. So here's the explanation to this incredible any card at any number. Here's how you want to have the cards set up. So this is the way I generally do it. Uh, you want all of the cards for king all the way through to the ace. Uh, and you know, you want to do that for every single suit. So you've got king all the way through to the ace. Um, and I like to alternate red, black, red, black. You don't have to and you'll see why you don't have to. But that's just how I set it up. These are the numbers you want to remember. It's so simple. Ten seven four what i mean is you want to bring the 10 to the top put these underneath then you want to bring the seven to the top these to the bottom and then you want to bring the four to the top the rest to the bottom and that one just stays as it is so remember ten seven four here's the setup you want to alternate you want to take one card from each pile just like so and you want to do that until you've run out of cards you've gone all the way to the end all right so i'll speed this up all right perfect so we are ready to go with the trick it's completely self-working from this point onwards so how you start is you want to have the cards in the box or in my case face down here and you want to ask the spectator to think of any suit and it can be any of the four now in this case i know i've got the king of clubs or the clubs at the bottom so you want to tell them to think of any suit let's say they say club all right you're ready to go you literally do not have to touch the deck anymore it just stays right there um, but what happens if they choose a suit that isn't already on the bottom here and i'll explain what the bottom card means in a second let's say they say heart what you want to do is you to get away with this you say all right i'm going to put one card in a specific location but what i'm actually doing is i'm looking for the king of hearts and I'm placing it onto the bottom of the pack and then putting this face down, okay? So you do that for all of the suits. So let's say you've got the heart on the bottom. You obviously don't tell them that. Um, let's start the trick again. Think of any suit. Um, I'm thinking of, uh, I don't know, let's say hearts. You don't have to touch the deck. But if they say spade, you go, all right, here's what I'm going to do before we start. I'm gonna put one card in a specific location i found the spade you don't let them see it and you just put it face down and now you don't have to touch the pack here's the cool part you then tell them look i just want you to think of any of the cards um, so you've got ace all the way through to king and explain to them that every card has a value so 
you know, kings of 13s, queens of 12s, and so forth. I want you to think of any one of the cards. So you can think of any one. Now, let's say they're thinking of, let's say, uh, the jack, all right? So we know the jack is 11. You wanna tell them whatever card you're thinking of and that value, I just want you to double it. You know, let's get a random number, double that number you're thinking of. And so they obviously double it and it becomes 22. And then you say, you know what? Let's make this completely random. I just want you to double that new number. And so 22 in their mind, they double it to 44. And then you say, look, you thought of a suit, you thought of a card, and then you've doubled all these numbers and now you've got a really high number, don't you? And you say, for the first time, what was the number that you're thinking of? And they tell you, 44. All right, don't tell me the card you thought of in the beginning. And then you count down 44 cards. I should have chosen a smaller one, but here we go. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. You stop here and you say, what was the card you first thought of? And they will say, the Jack of Spades. And it's that amazing, isn't that cool? And the cool thing is, you just put the Jack back there, you put the cards back on top, and you're ready to go again. I know, it's amazing, it's really, really cool. So uh, just remember, uh, if they call a suit and it's not on the bottom, uh, you just say, oh look, uh, let's say the thought of uh, diamonds. All right, I'm gonna take one card, put it in a specific location, and um, I think I know what you're gonna think of. So I want you to, uh, we'll do it again. So here's what I want you to do, I want you to think of a suit. All right, okay, so they're thinking of diamonds. All right, cool, we've got diamond on the bottom. Um, then you know what you think of a card all right so it could be ace all the way through to uh, king um, they're thinking of one they don't tell you and now let's say they're thinking of number two all right so you're thinking of a card now take that card's value and I just want you to double it okay we're gonna complete um, a random selection here so double the value you're thinking of so now they're thinking of four and you know what whatever that new number is just double that as well now they're thinking of eight now, you thought of a suit, you thought of a card in the beginning, but what's the new number that you've just, the higher number you've come up with? And they'll say eight, and then you count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's the two of diamonds. Place that back on top, and you can instantly reset. And that is what I believe to be the holy grail of any card at any number, and uh, it, honestly, you're fry magicians with this. I have fried many magicians with this. They have no idea how it's done. And uh, I can't actually remember where I learned it, but uh, it's incredible, it's amazing. If you enjoyed that, uh, like and subscribe. It's really nice to be back. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again on another tutorial. See you later.